check out this massive beaver dam. It's hard to tell from the video here, but the top of that dam is about seven feet above the water level that you're looking at now. And you can see there, there's a saddle where that dam blew out. And beyond it is the lodge on the other side of the pond back there. And what's so cool about this is that this rupture in the dam, a very old dam that's been in use for who knows how long, is providing us an opportunity to actually see a cross section in it. So as we get up, we'll start to look at some of the features. But this is cool. This is where that whole uh, dam really swung open like a gate as it burst. So as we climb up on top here and look down the length of this dam and then at the cross section, something becomes apparent. These dams are really divided into two halves. So if we swing over, we can see that the upstream side is very earthen. This is where the beavers themselves have been actually packing mud in, but also where sediment has been packing in as it flows downstream. And then there is the stick side downstream that helps support the whole structure. We're gonna make our way all the way across. And as you look out here to the side, you can see all of the veg that had been killed long ago, trimmed back entirely, underwater, drowned out. All that willow, you can see some of the live stuff up there. But check this out. This is an absolutely monster lodge. And what's so cool about this is that the entrances are no longer underwater. So like I say, this that was probably three and a half or so feet underwater and there's multiple entrances. We could walk all the way around. There's a couple on the other side as well. Well, there's one over there. The other one's on the complete other side where the water level was nice and high. But um, I've always wanted to take a peek inside, but these lodges are either always underwater still, which is terrifying, and, <laughs> and there could be beavers in them. So I haven't, but this is so cool. Um, and I've looked around here there are beavers still working in the area, but I saw no fresh sign right around this lodge. There may be some activity over on this side. I checked all that before poking my head in, but um, let's go inside. This is pretty cool. So when we get down, this is this tunnel system that goes up and right off the bat, and I forgive me, I know that the, I gotta take my hat off here. It's very tight. I know that the light is bad and I don't have a flashlight, which I'm really sad about, but uh, we begin to get in here and we can see back up into the whole platform in there. You can see all the sticks. Try to get some of that light in. There we go. So this is going back about, oh, I'd say 12 feet or so all the way back there to the end. But what's so neat to see is all of that earth slopes up. So this is level here. It slopes up, 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 up to that platform and that cavity up there. And you can see all of the sticks that they were feeding on. But just look at the roof. And I know the light is poor. Maybe I'll make another video sometime really showing this. But it's like a messy, but very robust and and well-built log cabin. So super cool. Right over here, it's very hard to tell. To the left there, there's another entrance coming in, but there's our platform. Pretty freaking cool to see inside a beaver lodge. So we'll back back out here and then I'll walk you around to show you some of these other entrances. <sighs> wow, that was tight. Scout is having the greatest time ever chasing chipmunks all around. Um, here's one of the other entrances right back here. So uh, back out just to see, I know the, the light is terrible. So you're really just seeing shadow. Um, thought about waiting until the sun went down, but I don't have the time. This lodge is just huge. Come on. Nah, she's not gonna do it. I was gonna see if she'd run up there for scale. Just a mountain. I mean, an absolute mountain. This thing is probably, it's, it's at least 10 feet tall, which is just so cool. And then over on this side, there is another entrance right down in there. And then 
this is where all this gets um, much harder to get to, but it's just, it's still been so exposed. Wow, I bet you, I'm not sure. Um, so cool, it's really interesting. There's this whole huge, um, almost like an arm of the lodge that came out and you can see that it's, um, it's sort of up off the, it's like an awning, like a big awning right there, which is cool. And there's another big entrance going in there. And I'm wondering if that goes to an entirely different um, space in there, cavity, where, and then platform where they're, where they're uh, doing their beaver thing. And then yeah, there's just, there's just stuff going on. I'm not exactly sure what all this is. Um, old feeding platforms, perhaps, I'm not sure. But it is just so cool to see this and get to actually look inside a little bit. In the future here, I'll get a light and come back out and show a little bit of this in greater detail. But this is just so neat to see. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me to poke around in, in a, an old lodge and see an old blown out dam.